I founded Open Arts Objects, which is a, a project, um, an open access platform, because I was grappling with some, some questions. One was, how do we widen participation in a discipline um, that is often seen as elitist and Eurocentric, that is art history? How do we make it more accessible? How do we bring the museum into the classroom? Um, so I met with uh, A-level teachers, museum curators, educators, and colleagues, and we decided to come up with, um, produce a number of films that were going to be open access to support the teaching of art history. So one of the things we wanted to do was expand the scope of art history. And so um, we interviewed curators as well as colleagues to speak about works of art that are not just in the Western canon, that expand um, art history into a global art history. I think we live in a world bombarded with visual images um, from social media to the news. So more than ever, we need the critical tools to assess the visual world around us. And Open Arts Objects does exactly that. With over 50 films um, widely used in museums and uh, A-level teaching, we're giving the next generation, we're equipping them with those visual literacy skills. We're starting a new series called Critical Terms. So we're um, looking at critical terms for art history. So some of the issues and what's at stake in art history, um, terms like globalization and hybridity, mobility, things that haven't really been addressed in art history before. It's been a, a huge success and it's um, been a great way to, to share our research in, a, in an accessible manner.